Welcome back to Good Day Sacramento and happy fall. Six-year-old Harrison is the king of the world, or in this case, the king of the pumpkin, pumpkin patch. And of course, Scarlett is also the queen of the pumpkin patch. So this morning, we introduce you to the Kennedy family and their passion is growing massive pumpkin. So we've got six-year-old Harrison here. All right, Harrison, we met Angry Eyes the Pumpkin. Tell us a little bit about, oh, Angry Eyebrows, correction, Angry Eyebrows, the pumpkin. So tell us how you got Angry Eyebrows to be so big. Um, I fed it a lot. You fed it a lot. Hey, that's how I get bigger, too. I just got to feed myself a lot, too. So, Nick, I mean, you passed down your pumpkin patch passion to your son. What's it been like to watch him take on kind of the family biz? Yeah, um, I, it's pretty exciting because, you know, I think the at first it's a little like, hey, are they going to, you know, get get excited about it? Is it just going to be something else? But over the last couple of years, he's been really interested in wanting to do it. And of course, when you see them get really big, it's just sort of very self-gratifying for that. So it's been fun. Yeah. So eventually, so we even have one that's super orange back here. So what's cool is that, you know, there's different categories at these pumpkin competitions. I mean, this one's very aesthetic. This one's the big boy. Angry Eyebrows is the one that's massive. So tell us when it comes to competitions, how are they graded and, and what is Harrison going to compete in? Sure. So here, Harrison's going to be competing in the future farmer category at a couple different competitions and different competitions have things like uh, prettiest pumpkin for Howard Dill um, and then they have the largest for weight and so there's those two sort of different categories some people like prettier ones some people like weight we wanted to do one of each this year so we did that. All right, and then we have mom Stephanie over here. So your backyard has been completely transformed. There's a pumpkin patch back here. And I know you guys as a family spend a lot of time out here bonding. Tell us a little bit about what you've noticed the kids have learned through learning about growing. You know, one thing I think that they've learned a lot about is respecting the pollinators, the bees, where they can be kind of scary, a lot for kids, but really respecting the bees that come out and even the little bugs that they find. There's a lot more respect for them, that there's a purpose for them in the garden. They have a job to do. And so we leave them be and let them do their thing. And that's been really fun. I love it. And so, Nick, I think Harrison's going to give you a run for your money one of these days. I know you broke a state record, but Harrison, I think I have faith in you that you're going to break your dad's state record. And then lastly, Harrison, I hear you have a birthday coming up. You're an October baby, which is what got the family involved in this yep. in the first place. So happy early birthday, Harrison. You're going to turn how old? Seven. Seven. The big seven, just in time for Halloween. And then do you know what you're going to be for Halloween yet? Do we have any ideas? I, my vote is on a pumpkin. I think you should dress as a pumpkin. What do you think about that? No. No, he's like, I spend too much time with angry eyebrows. I ain't being a pumpkin. I'm going to grow the pumpkin. So you can actually cheer Harrison on this weekend. He'll be competing where? At Hard Rock um, at Bishops in Wheatland. So. Hey. And then we'll see if you take home the grand prize. I see some trophies in your future. In the meantime, he's going to remain the king of the pumpkin patch. But Scarlett is three years old. And hey, when she turns four... Then Harrison, she's going to start chasing you too. But hey, it's all in the family. So again, we're going to end with some angry eyebrows. Uh, uh, angry, so angry. I'm doing the rock eyebrow. Mm. Thank you, Sacra. <laughs>